Hey guys, it's RPY34 here, and so I'm going to be showing you my uh, b battery charger in the Altoids can. And this is the Altoids Malls. As you can see, I have the normal Altoids over here. This is a little one. Um, I had to put tape around it just because it would open because I cut it wrong because I, I was just using pliers like the wire cutter pliers to cut this because I couldn't find my um, like any other better tool to cut it with um, because I was just using things I could find out of my dad's toolbox so yeah this does work and um, I don't think I have something to charge with it uh maybe like yeah i have my my old phone i'll go ahead and just um plug that in real quick get it out we'll find it in my drawer first all right so here's my old phone i'm recording with my uh iphone 4s right now um oh i can just plug this in here um, Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and just flip the little switch on. I will open it at the end of the video just so. Um, I'm just try to. It was like too long for this little setup type of thing. Mm -hmm. If I could get it to turn on, for some reason it won't turn on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It was just like my phone, It's um, since it's an old phone, it's been off and dead probably for like a long time. Um, and yeah, so it does work. It doesn't work, well it works with iPad, it just charges at a slower rate because iPad charges at 5.1 volts and this is a 5 volt charger. So yeah, just go ahead and turn that off. <clears throat> okay, so now that we got that out of the way. Um, just go ahead and put this over here, wherever. Um, it was a big challenge for for me to fit this in here. That's the main reason why it has tape around it. I did have it in here inside this Altoids box, but I wanted to put in the Altoids Smalls. So yeah, this one I put on another charger that I got at Radio Shack. It's called the Minty, Minty Boost by Mintronics or something like that. Um, and yeah, if you hear something in the background, it's my little brother yelling, playing with my dogs. So sorry about that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this right now. Um, if you guys haven't yet, um, go check out my other videos. And um, like it says over here in the background. Like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, you guys subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back. And, yeah, if I could just open this. Can't seem to take the tape off. There you go. <laughs> Took me the longest time just to do that for some reason. Okay, let's open this. Okay, sorry about my little brother. Like, like I said earlier, he's playing with my dog, so he's yelling. Um, like, as you can see, as soon as I took the tape off, it kind of opened a little bit. So you can see there on the top. Um, yeah, so once I open this, <clears throat> you can see all the... Um, I can fix the lighting here. I don't think I'll be able to... Um, Alright, so basically what's in here is the 9 volt battery with the uh, 9 volt battery connector right here And down here, it was a big challenge for me to fit all that stuff in there What I had to do was 
since the 9 volt battery connector comes with such long cables took up so much space so what I did was cut down like most of it and then just reattach it with like way shorter cables um, and I don't know if you guys can see there I have the 5 volt regulator right there um, let me see if I can find a flashlight real quick um, I've actually, I have nothing to get light off of right now oh wait, oh, my iPad I guess this is my iPad and it doesn't seem to so well it kind of does a little bit not really um, so yeah but anyways uh, what what's in there is um, the 9 volt regulator is right here <clears throat> it's right there and then you have the switch right here and then I just fit all the other cables in here and since I didn't use the normal USB cable I just cut one off of a USB um, extension what I did was um, well since it wouldn't fit in here I had to cut it off and I made a hole here with some um, pliers and just put the cable out through there and yeah so if you guys want a tutorial on how to do this, just go ahead and tell me, and I'll be glad to make one for you guys. And yeah, I might actually just keep the tape off because it seems to close well now without it. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, like, comment, subscribe, and if you guys want a tutorial, just tell me in the comments, and I'll be glad to make you one. Alright, so see you guys later.